What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is a brand new episode of Mustache Minecraft Monday. And if you saw my last Minecraft video, you'll be able to tell what this is. As you can see back here, we are backstage at the moment. Go through that door. Close it. That could be, I really don't know what this is going to become yet, but the room could become something soon. This is the catering area, you know, where the superstars eat. This was a vent, a vent, I mean, this, at the beginning, oh, that's a watermelon, but at the beginning, this was a, an indie arena. And then I moved it into a, kind of like a WWE arena. You'll see in a little bit. This is the men's restroom. It's not all that big, but it's enough space to get your work done, you know, if you know what I'm saying. This is the women's locker, I mean, the men's locker room. It's pretty big, spacious, kind of. But if you move over here, you have the women's locker room. And, you know, if you're lucky in a stage for so you may get to see AJ Lee and or Melina back here. So, double thumbs up for that. And this is the training facility in case you ever get hurt. We have professional assistance, assistance here to attend you. This is the general manager's office. This is where I am going to be chilling at. And where I make matches and stuff. But... This right here is the arena. Like WrestleMania 23 with John Cena came out in a Ford Mustang. They kind of had like the lights and stuff going like that, I recall. And plus, if you stand over here, the lights go like that. <coughs> I'm almost not sick anymore, so you know, that's great. This is kind of a pyrotechnic area. It's not really pyro since this is Xbox Minecraft. But if you stand over here, you can kind of tell that this is the pyrotechnic area, and that's the boot. Hopefully they may have pyrotechnics in here. It'd be pretty awesome. It's like the little Titan Tron area. I mean, not the Titan. Yeah, kind of like the Titan Tron area. And over here you have a oh, shout out to Money Noise since he's over there working on this giant tree. And over here you have like the best seats in the house. And also Money Noise came in the arena, took one of my dogs and like not stranded outside. So I may have to do something bad to him on here. I don't know, but. Like I say, this was eventually, I mean, originally in Indies Arena. If you look up here, you could tell that, like, this was an island. You could see the snow. Yeah, you see that snow, and then you could see that snow over there. Right now, I'm in the clouds because I'm so darn high. So damn high, bro. So damn high. And then if you go down here, oh, snap. You know, if you're John Morrison, you could do a little parkour on your days off if you feel like it pre-match and then that's the titan tron i had a lot of fun making the uh, ring the titan tron and uh, this state setup one day we were just playing me and my friends wanted to go at it in the ring so they went at it and then i had it on hard so it was creepers in the crowd we put our differences together i mean we put our differences away and worked together took out some of the creepers and then it kind of got a little crazy back here Know, creepers wandering around your stadium, but as you can see, if you're sitting down here, but well, this is the TV area, so in case if you're standing in the ring, you could talk right to the camera. But I originally had this right here, but I had to do it like three takes for this video. For one, the audio didn't work, another one, something else happened. But yeah, this is the size of the cage. It's like a Royal Rumble, and it has like cage stuff, whatever. You could just chill up in here. Even though it's not the wrong Rumble, but if it's a regular match, you could just come walking through like here. But let's say one of the opponents is already in a ring, and Randy Orton has a match coming up, but he's chilling backstage at the moment. So this is where stuff gets real. So Randy Orton's chilling in the back of the stage at the moment. And then, um, this music is. So then, like, everybody's expecting him to come really be on the arena for the actual stage set. But Randy Orton, being the advisor that he is, oh, this is the backstage area. Concession fans and all this stuff. Randy Orton's opponent is waiting down the ring over there for him. The whole crowd sees him. Well, some of the crowd, they're all cheering and happy. Randy Orton, he hops over the stage. I mean, over the barricade. Hops in here. RKO's this opponent. His music goes off. And as he is walking out of the arena laughing at his opponent, CM Punk's music hits. So then, this is where stuff gets real. CM Punk starts chasing Orton. Orton runs out the stage. Everybody's 
cheering CM Punk or Tim walks out and then CM Punk standing right there on the top rope. The whole crowd's booing Orton. Some people touch him, you know. And then Orton walks out. And that is the end of this. I may eventually make a better entrance to this, possibly in the future. But this haven't really taken around. I've been working on it for about a week. Like <laughs> last Saturday. And right now it's Easter Sunday. I'm just recording this so I can have this up for tomorrow. So yeah, and also when it snows, sometimes it snows, sometimes it it doesn't really really rains like a block over. That's the funny part. Like it could literally be raining over here, snowing over there. That's a money noise. But my dog got so you know me and Hammy got some issues right now. But yeah, so this is it. Sometimes it thunders, but since WrestleMania is in seven days, I'm gonna have a meteorologist and they, and all of the weather people around. What the hell? Whoa, that's kind of big. You saw that Titan trying to glitch up? Whoa. I'm going to have him look, work on the news. Tell me what the news is going to be. And then I'm going to have them. So it's basically like WrestleMania is this Sunday coming up. It's coming up this Sunday, seven days from today. CM Punk's winning. The Shield's winning. You already know. So yeah, if you want to see, we still have about maybe... I got to actually count how many seats are available. But we probably have about... I'll say a couple, like 78,000 seats, just from the look of this. <laughs> you could grab a seat, take it, I'm sorry, it's going to cost a fee, probably 1,600 Microsoft points. Maybe free, you never know, but if you want to come, you could come, chill out, fight in the ring, or even give you a contract and stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have something to say, leave it in the comment section below. And stay sexy, stay hungry. And of course, get laid. I had to say that for Furious Pete. Had his shirt. It's pretty cool, dude. And yeah, peace. My team's gon' be dropping. They saying, boy, stop it and let me get low. I'm saying, girl, drop it. I'm getting dips. So I love the way you lick your lips and them hips go. You want me in them pants? Give me the zip code. Uh -uh, uh -uh.